What's the crack lads? Welcome back. It's Thursday. Do we have any hype? Let me know in the comments below for the hype for the player of the week. We do have Foden who's got booster and first time shot as his player skill. We also have Lewandowski and a selection of other players here with Garnacho who does not get the booster. It actually goes to Cunha and Jorginho. So I'm going to go through this very, very quick and keep the video short and sweet. Let's get straight into it, starting with Yuri. So this guy is from Bilbao. He just plays as a left back, uh, as his primary position. He's an okay player. I mean, at this stage, these are kind of early, you know, to mid-game level players. You know, I, I definitely wouldn't recommend Yuri if you are trying to go up the divisions, past Division 3, because you do have a couple of weaknesses in his card, especially with his player skills. He doesn't have first-time shot. He doesn't have pinpoint crossing. He doesn't have a lot of inter uh, a lot of stats and skills that you would potentially like to have. And as you can train the player of the weeks, uh, there's no point in even trying to, you know, they are what they are. These cards are what they are. So you're not going to be able to train them any different. Sorry about the throat as well as a bit sore. Samba, we also have him as a goalkeeper who's an attacking goalkeeper. He's got unwavering form. Not bad either. I mean, obviously his reflexes and his goalkeeper awareness are the two stats that you need most. He's not the tallest goalkeeper, but he's definitely a good unit in goals. And of course, his player skills are really nice as well. Low punt and long throw. Nice starting goalkeeper for a 93 overall. But yeah, definitely not somebody I'd be spinning for. We also have Dunk. So this guy is a build-up center back. He's got really nice defensive stats, but his speed and acceleration are a little bit off where the game is at the moment. And of course, he does have blocker interception area superiority, but he doesn't have acrobatic clearance uh, and he doesn't have slide and tackle either. So there's just a couple of things missing with Dunk, but it's a nice card. I mean, especially if you're looking for a couple of different players to have, it is a fairly decent card with those skills and stats there. But definitely, again, falls into that category of not somebody that I would spin for. We also have Marco Asensio. So this guy is pretty decent. He kind of reminds me of that De Maria type card uh, that used to be good before. Now, this guy's got a very unique card, right? He's got interception and blocker because he can play CMF and DMF uh, or CMF and AMF. But he also has soul control and he has track back. He has interception. He's got a lot of nice, unique skills and making him a super sub, he's definitely a really good impact sub to bring on as a super sub, especially when he's on A form. So if you are spinning for a card and you do get this guy, he's pretty decent, man, as a creative playmaker, attacking midfielder. That is kind of where I would play him. Speed is good, acceleration is good, dribbling type possession. It's a good card. I mean, it's not there at the meta level yet, but it is very, very decent. You're not going to compare with like the free Neymar or any of those cards uh, if you if you are playing an attacking midfielder, creative playmaker. But it's a nice card. If you are spinning, you do get him on a free spin or something like that. Now, we will move on to Jorginho, who is the first booster. His booster is going to be dueling plus two or plus three. Defensive awareness, tackling speed and stamina, which is nice for a player of this uh, you know, position and this style. And uh, his low pass kind of raises the overall level of this card. And the overall rating of this card is boosted to 94 because of his tight possession and low pass stats. But the rest of his stats will leave a lot to be desired. Defensively, he's going to be very sound. But his speed and acceleration, you don't need acceleration too much. I would definitely be playing him as a DMF box to box. Um, but his speed is a little bit slow. And also the fact that he does not have blocker and you can't give him blocker. I just feel like where the game is at at the moment, you guys will probably notice as you go up the divisions, you will notice the amount of blocks and interceptions that you need to get. Now, I do like this card. It's a classy kind of silky card, uh, kind of Pirlo-esque in that he's slow, but able to pass and have unbelievable passing skills, uh, which I do like. One touch pass, way to pass, low laugh to pinpoint and true passing with gamesmanship and interception. It's a lovely card. It's a very unique card, but I definitely would have like wanted this card a little bit more if you're going to be definitely going to spin for him. We also have Matthias, Matthias Cunha. Uh, this guy is down as an attacking midfielder whole player, of course. He scored a hat-trick the weekend, and his booster is going to be ball carrying plus three, which in my opinion is probably the best booster, apart from the fact that speed is there instead of acceleration. But his dribbling and tight possession are going to be ridiculous. We also have the finishing over 85 with the manager boost. All of these cards, of course, are going to get the manager boost to plus two. So every stat you see is going to have a plus two on it with a good manager. So speed becomes 93, balance becomes 83, etc etc and also the, that's with the booster there as well but the real I, I think downside to this card is the fact that he has no uh ball roll and he has no one touch pass the rest of his stats are pretty decent but again he falls into that category of is he worth spinning for i mean if you're a wolves fan definitely yeah he is worth spinning for if you're looking for a, a wolves player in your squad 
But other than that, he's not really where the game is kind of at at the moment. That brings us on to DeMarco, who's down as a left back or a left midfielder. We've had a lot of different versions of this guy. He's not going to get his bo a booster, but his lofted pass, his speed and his acceleration are all going to be over 90, which is very, very nice. He does have pinpoint crossing. He is a cross first uh, left back, left midfielder. He doesn't really have anything else going for him because dribbling and defensive, he's just average at best on his stats, but unwavering form. And he does have some brilliant player skills here, including a couple of shooting and passing ones. I like this card. I do like this card. It's, it's a card I probably wouldn't use too often uh, because I prefer a more attacking option on my left midfield or left flank, uh, especially wingers or else Roberto Carlos if I have him. But on my road to glory, I definitely think that this guy could be beastly with collar up front for a target man. We also have Garnacho. So Garnacho is having a great season so far. He's kind of turned it around a little bit. He still needs an updated face, in my opinion, but he's going to have maxed out acceleration, dribbling over 94, and of course his balance is nearly at 90. I think this card would have been immaculate if he did have that balance at 90 and the dribbling at 90 and the tight possession at 90, but he doesn't. He's, his tight possession is going to be a bit of a killer on this card based on the fact that he's just not that strong. His physical contact isn't that good. And he's, he's quite tall for a winger, you know, our right midfielder at 180 CM, he's quite tall. We also have double touch soul control, but we don't have flip flap. So he doesn't have ball roll and you can't give it to him. And he doesn't have one touch pass. He doesn't have first time shot. There's a lot to not like about this card. But for me, I'll probably try spin for him because I'm a United fan. But yeah, I mean, Garnacho is a nice player. He's rocket fast. One of the fastest players in the game. And he feels like he's even faster with his animation style. So yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys think of those, of those guys. I mean, should he have got a booster? Lewandowski, not much more to say about him, is acceleration, balance, and tight possession. He's just basically a run, like he's not a run and gun center forward. He's a target man center forward. One touch pass, first time shot, uh, long range shooting, acrobatic finishing. I mean, get the ball into the box to him and he's pretty decent. Other than that, you know, he's, he's the same as Harry Kane or any of those guys. Personally, I feel like he's a little bit too clunky for where the game's at at the moment. I prefer a more mobile, versatile center forward. But let me know what you guys think. And then we also have Kavara and Foden. Foden will leave to last. Kavara is having a great season as well. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, he's turned it around as well. Dribbling has been good. Ball control type possession. He scored again the weekend. Acceleration is nice. Speed is going to get to 90 as well. And the finishing there at 81 is quite decent for a, a left winger. He's not the best version of Kavara that they've had out, obviously. But he does have some nice skills and nice stuff going on for him. He doesn't have flip-flop again with this card. But he does have everything else there. But he doesn't have one-touch pass. So it's kind of... They're making these cards very balanced and all that. That's kind of where we're at with it. We also have... And lastly, we have Phil Foden. Which I think this is a phenomenal card. I'm going to show you why. So he gets his booster to ball control, finishing, kick and power and physical contact. It's a shooting plus three. And that actually brings this card into another level, in my opinion. Ball control, dribbling, and tight possession are all going to be over 90, which you also get finishing over 90, with acceleration over 90, and balance over 90. Because you're going to get a plus two manager boost to every stat, which means balance will become 91. Finishing is going to be 90, and acceleration is going to be 92. Having on top of that, you've got kicking power and speed in the 80s. It's a very, very, very good card. I would play Foden as an attacking midfielder. Now, he is missing one or two skills that you could have done with here, but his passing skills are ridiculous. And one-touch pass, true pass and weighted pass and low lofted pass are exceptional on this card, especially the fact that he's got double touch and dip in shot and first-time shot. I would have liked to have seen him get maybe curl shot or outside curler, but, you know, it is what it is. It's a phenomenal card. It's definitely the pick of him. And I'll definitely try and spin for Foden if you guys want to see it later on in the stream. So that is it for me, lads. That is all the players covered. Let me know what you guys think. Are you disappointed? Are you happy? Will you spin for Foden or Garnacho? Will you spin for DeMarco or Dunk? Um, let me know what you guys think. Kavara being back is nice as well. But again, there are a couple of like kind of, you know, starter packs here, starter players here that aren't really worth spinning for. So let me know what you guys think. And I will be back in a little bit. We'll be streaming later.